So I decided to take my high porosity natural hair back to water washing only. I have three detailed reasons why and if Welcome back to my channel, Shiva Natural Curls here. I have decided to share this video with you guys on why I am returning back to the water washing only method, you guys. I have this high porosity hair. She loves that water washing only method. I have three detailed reasons why I am returning to that method, okay? If you've been watching me for these past couple of seconds that I have been talking, that means you're interested. So go on and hit that subscribe button that you know you want to, and then go on mosey on to the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos that have yet to come. So we're gonna get into these three detailed reasons why my high porosity hair is loving this water washing only method, okay? So, number one, I wanted to go back to this because I wanted to receive my full sebum coverage like I had before. Back a couple of months ago, I was on a water washing only method. I stopped, I quit, I failed because I ran into a trial and error and yeah, that wasn't the way to go. So I went on to moving into my products, okay? And I have noticed that my hair was not performing the way it was when I was doing the water washing only method. When I say performing, I mean my hair was not thriving the way it was when I was on the water washing only method. So I decided Let's try this again. This COVID-19 mess and everybody is in the house quarantine, quarantining, saving lives. If that's what you, you know, if you're about saving lives, you should be in the house quarantine unless you are an essential worker, okay? So I have been doing that and upon that, my products have been collecting dust. So I'm like, okay, what's the need of me keep putting all these products in my hair day after day after day after day after day after day? day and I'm not going anywhere it's like a waste so they've been collecting dust but upon that it gave me a chance to really analyze and think about my natural hair water washing only came up in my head but anywho I just had to throw that in there sebum is the natural oils that grow up out your scalp you guys sebum once you get that full coverage from your sebum your hair is more manageable, it's shiny, it is lustrous, it's strengthened, it's nourished. These are all the things that has been going on with my hair, I can honestly say. After this four steps, it will come out beautiful, okay? But you have to be consistent with the four steps, which is massaging, rinsing, scrunching, which is a light scratch, and preening. You have to follow those four steps consistently in order to make this method work. Do your research and you will understand what I'm talking about. I'm going to throw some pictures up in here sooner or later or whenever the case may be with me with full sebum coverage so you can kind of get the gist and understand why I'm putting my hair back in this method, you guys, okay? So that is number one, the sebum. I want that full coverage three to four weeks in right now with this method and my hair is loving it okay so reason number two we are moving on my hair is thriving she's thriving my hair is and she's thriving my hair is thriving so why would i take this method away she likes it she's nourished i've noticed that just in a couple of weeks she has grown just in a couple of weeks she has gotten stronger just in a couple of weeks she is softer okay so these are some of the reasons that I believe my hair is thriving. My high porosity hair is thriving from this water washing only method. I am on a DIY regimen also. Um, you may say to yourself, does your hair stink? Does your hair get dirty? Does your hair, is it stiff? You know, does it get a tinge? And it's, it's all these questions about it, you know? And I could tell you, just go do your research like I'm gonna tell you anyway. Don't take my word for it. Get out there and, and Google it, okay? Or YouTube it, like I did. Anywho, um, those are the things that has opened my eyes and had me realize that this method is a good thing 
for my hair. My styles last longer, okay? Um, my hair is not weighed down with products anymore. No offense to you guys that use products, but I'm just letting you know what my experience is, my take on this. So I'm loving that, you know? I'm, I'm loving it, and I just want to make sure I pay attention grabs everything that I need to grab from it and I want to proceed on and be successful with this method this time around okay my third reasoning for this is protective styling you guys protective styling protective styling protective styling 90% of the time that is what my hair is in okay I twist it up it's moisturized I put some avocado and almond oil or some mixture that I like to put in my hair in my jar. I put that on my ends and I seal it up with my Shea Mango Moisture Whip, okay? Check that out. It's in one of my previous videos. Um, but that is what I seal my ends with and I twist it up and I pin it back, okay? Unlike this video, I wanted to have my hair out so you guys can check the, the shake on that. Check the shine. Y'all checking the shine on this hair, y'all? Like she, like, ugh. And there's no product on this hair. Just to let you know, it ain't no product on these strands, y'all. Except for my ends. I put a little bit on my ends when I was taking my twists out today. Just on the sake of, I got it protected until that sebum coverage is, you know, totally at them ends. I ain't playing no game, okay? I ain't got time for no trial and error again this time. Protective styling, like I said, 90% of the time. Um... Let me see, your hair is stretched, so those oils can easily work their way down your hair strands that way. Your hair is tucked away, so it's low manipulation. Your hands are not in it, causing friction, rubbing out the oils, and carrying on doing all that extra stuff that you don't need to so that your curls can relax and grow, okay? We're not trying to stress out the curls. We're trying to make the curls happy. So okay. that is why I have taken my high porosity natural hair Back to water washing only, you guys. So let's see. Sebum, we got moisture, okay? My hair is thriving. That means she's growing and she's healthy, okay? And then we got protective styling, which leads to length retention, okay? So all of those three things, all of that right there, that, that big, nice bowl of soup for your hair, why would I not want to continue on with that, you guys? So I hope this was an informative video for you guys today. I hope, you know, I, I grab somebody out there with this information. If you have any comments, please leave them below. Is anybody on this method and went another way? Did anybody continue this method and it, their hair is thriving from it? Did anyone do like me, was on this method before, left, and came back? Please let me know. I have some DIY recipes that are coming up in the future, so stay tuned for that. I'm glad you guys joined me today. I am so happy. Stay quarantined, stay saving lives, and I will see you next time. Hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that notification bell too, and I will see you guys later. Bye. Peace.